Hey stampers, Gainer again, and I do apologise about the shadow box. I had to do a voiceover and it, ooh, it turned out not so good, but I may do it again, never know. But today I've been having a play with the beautiful, uh, delicate petals, absolutely gorgeous, love these flowers. Some lovely sentiments in there as well. And I loved it. I wasn't going to get it at first. And then when I saw my gorgeous friend Christine's card, I was just like, wow, you've got to get it. You've got to have it. So this is the card I made using some of those gorgeous papers that were hand painted by the gorgeous Cheryl as well. I've used Winker Stella on my, you can just about make it out, but I have used it. And I've used that beautiful stamp to decorate the card on the back. But I'm going to be pulling this one in as well. It's so cute. It's like a spray of flowers. I think I did it on the inside, yes, in Mango Melody and another strip there. But I think it's just adorable. So I'll have to get myself a card base out. You're going to need some Whisper White, which is roughly three by three and seven eighths. I got a one and a half inch strip of that beautiful paper again from the gorgeous Cheryl. I've got enough there for my sentiment, which works out at one by two and an eighth. This is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And a card base, which I haven't got out yet, which is just a standard half of an A4. It's eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And we're gonna four, score and fold it right down the centre at four and one eighth. I like to do it both sides. It just makes the card a little flatter so I'll just pick the best side and we're gonna be I'm gonna get some scrap out actually just because I don't want to go over this I haven't got many of these left and I'm gonna be using crumb cake on top of crumb cake I'm gonna get my fingers in it and everything <laughs> So first of all, let's stamp our sentiment because that will take the longest to dry. And I've got that. Thank you for your kindness. And you can pretty much, because it's photopolymer, you'll see you get this right in the centre. I can't slant it on that one again. Let me do it again. That's better. And I can set that to side now to dry. I chose uh, a different totally colour of contrasting cardstock because I thought if we do, it complements the gold with the mango melody. Plus, I just love that pop of blue that's on there. Normally, I try and coordinate everything, but this time I thought I would. And I'm going to use my stamping mat just to give me a bit more cushion because some areas it was uh, a bit blurry. So oh, that's a better impression. Beautiful. I'm going to swap that around as well. And do it again on this corner. absolutely gorgeous I love that and then what we're going to do for this corner is just go like that and the same I think I'll do it on this one beautiful get the pink off that myself later and then this beautiful spray I'm just going to stick to the edges where you're going to see the so cute no point putting anything in the centre because it won't get seen beautiful love it love it love it right and that's in that colour and that's my crumb cake 
set that to one side. I'm going to get the inside of my card. And I'm just, yeah, that's the best side. And now I'm going to do it down the side in here. It's quite pale. That's better. Just to decorate the inside. I might go over that one a little bit more. Better. I think my ink needs refilling. Oh, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Perfect. Uh, I've got another little strip of this. I'm just going to cut that down. In fact, I'm going to add that as it is. So, I'm just going to do a half of it. My dear. Yeah, let's do it all the way down and leave that inside for decoration as well. Perfect. That is so sweet. I love that paper. That is beautiful. Thank you, Cheryl, once again, my darling. You're an angel. I'm going to pop this uh, on the card now, and then we're going to go and do some more stamping, some colouring. beautiful patterns on this beautiful paper. Perfect, set that to one side now and then we're going to stamp that gorgeous gorgeous flower. This is for going on the front. Using the black memento. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. And I've just spinned it round because I want to do it on this side as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like to clean as I'm going, you know me. Excuse me, ladies. I always get my tissue ready. Right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit now. So you can see me colour these gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. So I'm going in with the, the pale mango melody. And I'm just going around the outsides. I mean, there's dies to cut this out if you wanted to do that. I might do that actually on this one. And have it cut out and the sentiments down either, or, you know, in between. So it's once you've got the edges done. Quite simple really and then flip this around and we do the same again I love colouring just keep your nib moving because otherwise it ends up buckling not to put too much pressure on it. Look 
Beautiful. Do you know, I'm still waiting on my back order from June for my re -inkers. I still haven't come in. Perfect. So that's the pail. This is going to be the die. And I'm going to use the small end because I'm just going to go over where these lines were. Perfect. I love the way they put the shadow lines in for you. But if you don't, there's still an easy, still a ways around it. Beautiful. I love this bit. I love the shading in bit. Perfect. And I have this one as well. my wink of still has come to its end I've refilled it about five times let's see I wonder if I, I think it's clog up I think if I use the powder but if I use the paint maybe I can get another shimmer pen on the go that is so cute right, let's uh, test our wink of Stella give it a little squeeze just to see yeah there's still a little bit of shimmer left in that so I'm not rubbing otherwise it just all blur into the same color So sweet. Just give that another squeeze and a shake. And then what I did with this one, I got my white gel pen out and just dotted around there, the centers. And then on certain ones, I added a little touch of white. If you see on this one, little touches of white to bring out even more. And I've gone over the line there, so and just add a little bit of white. It'll fade. Beautiful. give it some fading lines to make it a little, a little bit more realistic so this is the die for cutting this out perfect let me get rid of these and let's zoom back out a little bit Yeah, let's get that on there. Whoops. That's got it. Let's get that. There we go. the first one that has turned out beautiful oh, I 
tell you what, I can't do it that side. I can do it from this side. I can see better. beautiful flowers and our lovely little static machine it's cute but it needs some I would say it definitely needs some uh, grip on the bottom and then with this I just use our banner punch Slide that in until you can just see both sides and then punch it through. Oh, it works on the other one. All right, let me just lift it up a little bit. It doesn't want to cut through there, does it? So let me use my scissors. That's a shame because it, it worked on the other piece perfectly fine. That's it. I'm not cutting any more off. That is beautiful. Oh, I think I might have to sharpen this up. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to sharpen that up a little bit. So I'm going to now add this piece on here. Oh, you can see that's not straight there. Whatever, just grab these little scissors or my big ones. That's got it. We want the card nice, don't we? And I'm blocked. That's got it. Soon goes off with the lights in here. So I'm going to add my strip. And I might do it down the centre on this one. See if that's straight. Looks okay to me. And then I'm going to have a flower either side with that sentiment in the middle. the centre and then I'm going to have some dimensionals let's get another packet out so let's use my little ones for a sec put one more on that side spin this one around. I think I'm just gonna have that one that overlapping like that. That is cute, cute, cute. Right, where's my sequins? So I use some of those blue sequins on here to decorate this and I'm gonna do exactly the same. And I'm gonna put two there, two there, and one there. I've got a little tool here which will help me pick them up and face them the right way. And 
these are from, I think they're the whale ones. Yeah, whale of a time. Perfect. How cute is that card? I like them both ways. Ooh, which do you prefer, ladies? I'd love your opinions, and I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a share. Um, my trolley's gone for a walkabout over there. My toner's come for my printer, so I'm able to print things out again now. They're so expensive. And there we are. Which do you prefer? Do you like to cut out the one on the card? It's entirely up to you. One of my sequins has fell off. There it is. I can see it there. Look at that. Ah, the one that got away, they said. Maybe where we want to come off. So, need them to dry properly. Just like to press them down. Perfect. Yay, there we go, there's tonight's card. I hope you've enjoyed. I'd really love a thumbs up, a share and a like. That would be excellent. And come back on the next video. Bye now. See you soon.